you must come and apologize to me and the enter in agreement with me before we start cleaning him without that he can never be president you can cut my finger the thing is that when i'm when i'm talking when i'm talking people say ah, ah, ah. but you must follow my word has is there anything that i've said that never happened anything i tell you that will happen is what will happen i told you during election to say even even if jesus come and vote for Ediga, he was not he's not winning did you win with all the prayers all the people he surrounded himself with who were saying see a one is a satanist what 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 did you win so he's going to come back because people are going to put pressure and i want to say to the former ruling party don't make a mistake and say we don't want we, we're going for somebody else if you miss this edgar you will not come back if it, and and then if anybody saying Edgar cannot come back, he cannot rule. We it is not going to happen. You are not God. There's a God who sits in heaven, who is speaking. You see, when we speak prophecy, we don't speak for now. We speak about the end. We see the end, and that is why, if you like, cost me for now to tomorrow, I stand my ground. If you discover carefully about me, I'm among the few prophets don't i don't shift if i know that this is the will of god no matter what you say about me i stand you watch the entire video my lovely viewers i mean from start to finish to get the whole thing without wasting much of your time let's get right into it Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Uh, and him coming to stand again in 2026 20, he won't win we are not going to allow him to win personally i myself see a one we not allow that to happen because he still has to apologize to me if he want to go back for us to clean him because i am the one that painted him all those a black charcoal that he has all those corruption and all those things that i was doing that time of policies i am the one that painted it i am the one that will clean the dirty if he want to be president he must call me come to me you know we we come in agreement then perfect we can start cleaning all those dirty that we put on him and start selling him I mean, HH was uh, HH was unsellable. People used to call him Satanist, Freemason, and what what. And we came in, started doing the cleansing, and all of a sudden, uh, that man that everybody was saying what what what, he, he became the president today. So those Eddie Ed Galungu can never be a president in Zambia when I'm alive, unless he come to me but secretly or openly we come in agreement we remove all the mouth that we are putting on him we start cleaning him then he can become the president but just waking up and say i want to go and become the president we are not going to allow that to happen we are going to campaign badly <laughs> and then yeah, i am the chief and <laughs> i engineer these things so if he's if he's really want to be president you must come and see me in zambia in nigeria here because i i posted it the other day when i was uh, building my hotel i said he must come here he must come and apologize to me he was my friend very good friend of mine he must come and apologize to me and enter in agreement with me before we start cleaning him 
without that he can never be president you can cut my finger the thing is that when i'm when i'm talking when i'm talking people say ah, ah, ah. but you must follow my word has is there anything that i've said that never happened anything i tell you that will happen is what will happen i told you during election to say even even if jesus come and vote for ediga he was not he's not winning did you win with all the prayers all the people he surrounded himself with who were saying see one is a satanist what 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 did you win all the holy ghost fire they sent to me all the blood of jesus they sent to me did you win he can never win until i forgive him he come here we make peace and then we'll start uh, we start we go back now to the people and tell the people what we know about Edgar Long. This is politics. I am a, a politician. I am a politician, a born politician. So as it is now, PF stand a very good chance, very, very big chance, but not with Edgar because Edgar, I can't allow that to happen. It will never happen, even if you bring Jesus again. You bring all the angels in heaven to vote for it. He will never be president unless I forgive him. To me, PF should uh, uh, it should PF should look at uh, Brian Mundibile. That's where that's the where they must be looking at, and they must come up with a leader now. I mean they they have chances they can come up with a leader now and that leader must start leading leading the party uh, there is big chance for them but not edgar alone edgar cannot go anywhere unless he follow me to nigeria come to nigeria apologize to me and enter an agreement with me then uh, he, uh, what is there? <laughs> we are the one that do the campaign. Who we, we will do? Who will start politics? You know, when people people say the reason why uh, you don't see me often speak often is because as a politician we do calculated a serious politician, not those who talk. Yeah, 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 no, we calculate moves. Twenty twenty six. I've already calculated it. I know where it's going and I know how things will be. So it's going to come back because people are going to put pressure. And I want to say to the former ruling party, don't make a mistake and say, we don't want, we, we're going for somebody else. If you miss this Edgar, you will not come back. If I, and, and then if anybody saying Edgar cannot come back, he cannot rule, we, it's not going to happen. You are not God. There's a God who sits in heaven, who is speaking. You see, when we speak prophecy, we don't speak for now. We speak about the end. We see the end. And that is why, if you like, cost me for now tomorrow, I stand my ground. If you discover carefully about me, I'm among the few prophets. Don't, I don't shift. If I know that this is the will of God, no matter what you say about me, I stand. You may cost me. I don't get offended. Offense is not there. Because I stand with the will of God. Some people may think, oh, he hates. No, I have nothing against Akainde Echilema. He's a, personally a good businessman, technocrat, but he's not chosen. That's just it. And people misinterpret it as hatred. Must I, I stand with somebody that God did not stand? No, I have to stand with the mind of God. Standing with the will of God made them to put Jeremiah in the way, in the, pri in the, in the, pri in the prison. You don't understand. They put him in the prison. Eh? So, now, question number four. Are you coming back to Zambia? Not now. You know, after the election in Nigeria, many people were praying, 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 praying. Some pastors were going to the mountain. I saw them, or God showed me them. Said they were wasting their time. Even if 10,000 go and pray, no change. Not, Nigeria is not, the economy will not improve. Because when I am not there, Psalm 127 is spiritual everything will not nothing will work when i did not approve appoint it cannot work so i told them 
They were calling me, let's go and see, let's go and pray, let's go and do rally for this. I said, I'm not coming. If you like bring 100 million naira, I won't come. So if you invite me and say, come to Zambia, come and pray, I won't come. I'm a man of principle. You don't know, no, you don't know Prophet Amata. Oh no, you don't know me. I, have, I stand with God. One with God is majority. If God is standing, I stand with him. No person can tell me that in Zambia that I collected money from Edgar to prophesy for him in 2016. Not me. I never took money. Three times I went there because God told me to go. If God did not tell me to go, I continue to speak on my Facebook. It's going to go everywhere. I don't go to people like that. I don't go. I stay in my home. So, money does not influence my prophecy. If you say, come to Zambia now, okay, come and pray. Pray what? I can't come. In fact, I can't even sit down there with him. Not having anything against him. But you remember 1 Samuel 15, the Lord said to Samuel, I have rejected Saul. And you know Saul, Samuel never saw Saul until David entered into a seat of authority. That is how spiritual principle work. We don't go where God did not allow us to go, even if every other person is going. Listen to me, all different pastors, prophets can be going, they can even be going to be praying for the leader. But if God is not there, the prayer is in vain. You don't understand. 10,000 people can gather and be praying. Let things get better. But you have made a mistake from the beginning by your choosing. And God said in 1 Samuel 8, this is the soul. This is what is going to happen if you take this man. The people say, give us. And God allow it. So God gave you what you want. Then you should be ready for the consequence. That the consequences, things begin to decline. Meaning me, everything start going. If it was fairly okay before, then it begins to go down. So, Edgar is coming back, and the, the mistakes, two mistakes he made, was he took wrong advisors and he carried cadres. These are the problem. The greatest sneak that was in his cabinet was Doctor Mitty. Doctor Mitty. And he blocked me and jumped to the other side. When he finished his assignment, he jumped ship. So that God permitted this one that is the David. His eyes have opened, he have seen. He have seen very well. And this Kada issue, lining up people, going to the airport, you want to travel out, you line up people, you want to go to marriage, you line up people, they say, waste of money, stop it. You don't need all this. Just deliver for the people. Very simple. All this control of Kada, controlling market, controlling uh, uh, boss ranks, controlling, inflicting people, close it. Don't make the same mistakes the next time, sir. God is giving you a second chance. Forget about what anybody is saying that you can never. Who is that person telling you saying that? The prophet is a commander who spoke about Nigeria, who spoke about the arrest. I told you recently. A former president, international prophecy, will be arrested. And I knew. And I, Trump was arrested. And I told, I'm still telling you, despite that, he's still going to be the candidate for the Republican Party. A moving train cannot be stopped. It may be hindered, delayed, but can't be stopped. So that is for that. He's going to contest for 22. He's going to come back eh, because the grace is there. That is why the former ruling party must not make a mistake. And say we want to know. Let God have started the house through him. He want to finish it. It is going to be finished. So I am not going to come to Zambia now because why? What am I coming for? Say come and pray for him. What am I coming to pray? When God is not involved. I don't just go like that, go like this. Some of them, some people will not be saying, We don't even want you to come. No, it does not matter if I want to come or not. I don't even need to come. You will be seeing it. A time is coming, you will tell Papa, ah, if we have listened to you. But it's already, you have made the mistake. So, 2026, don't make the same mistake. Eh? Don't make it. When prophets speak, not speaking because of what they have collected or what they benefit. The mind of God has nothing to do with benefit. You just, Jeremiah speak. Whether it's pleasant or not pleasant, you speak it. Whether they curse us or they don't curse us, we speak it. We speak it directly.
without fear of evil. So keep praying for your nation, Zambia. Uh, what do you pray? You pray for God to give you the people the grace to go through the the the, the, the consequence, the, the the hard times. No, you have to pray because nothing is going to improve because you make a wrong mistake. In Nigeria, they pray, 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 pray. Let things get better. Let it, it didn't get better because you have gone against the will of God. So you have to pray for grace to go through this situation. So the same thing, you have to pray for grace in Zambia. So not personal. I'm not against the current leader. I'm just telling you the mind of God. I'm standing on God's side. I don't hold bitterness with anybody. I don't speak personal prophecy, personalized prophecy. I speak the mind of God. So these are the three reasons why I'm not in support of that current leader. Because God, the Lord said, number one, I did not choose him. He's a soul. Number two, uh, he's not the one, he's not the David. Number three, there's no, I, my grace is not with him. Number, number three, spiritual foundation have been affected. So uh, I don't want to speak too much about spiritual foundation, but I'm going to talk about it in the, in the nearby future. But certain things will begin to be exposed on this issue of spiritual foundation. So a lot of things are going on in the nation. Accidents. Uh, many things. Pray for your nation of Zambia. A lot of accident. Too much accident. Too much accident. Suicide. Pray. Because when the foundation spiritually is affected, many things begin to go wrong. One of the things that begin to go wrong is when the grace is no more there, it is that grace that stops a lot of things not to happen. That grace, you know, is not that we don't have things like that happening in the former time, but it's become more frequent. And uh, But I will speak more about it. That is a separate video, and we we'll keep on praying for God's mercy. So what do you do in Zambia? Pray for mercy. The same way they are praying for Nigeria. Pray for mercy. Mercy. Don't be proud. Don't resort to start name calling, accusing the prophet. You just make your, you are not going to solve your problem. The only thing you need to pray, oh God will make a mistake. Mercy. As far as God is concerned, you chose your own. In Nigeria, you choose your own. So you pray for mercy. When you go wrong, you don't curse. You don't attack. You pray for mercy and grace to pass through it. You are going to have to pass through it. Keep sharing this video all over Zambia. And shalom, shalom. Very lengthy, but I have to answer these three point questions. Remain blessed. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.